Um, it is now. Thank you. At this time, it's 719. As the meeting was supposed to start at seven o'clock, we, we wanted to afford some time for some of the members to um, log in. At this time, we're going to go ahead and move into roll call um, to <laughs> determine if we have a quorum for the meeting on April 12th today. Uh, Reverend Dr. Orlando Jermaine Bago. Mr. Clarence Dixon. Mr. Will Epps. Ms. Sarita Hollenshed. Dr. Sheila Jackson. Present. Ms. Carlotta Lundy. I'm here. Ms. Dolores Milhouse. Present. Dr. Sharon H. Porter. Uh, T. Carter Ross, present. Ms. Keisha Thorpe. Present. Mrs. Robin Welch. Present. Ms. Celise Wood. Present. Mrs. Adam Stafford. Here. Thank you. And uh, so Ms. Lundy, you stated, so at this time, let me just say, we do not have a quorum, so we will not be conducting business for our April 12th, 2023 meeting. Um, and so at this time, uh, Ms. Lundy, you had a comment that you wanted to. Yes. Ask. Yes, Chair Millhouse. Um, first of all, good afternoon, everyone. Um, so my question is, I wanted to ask um, Ms. Lopez, do we have, I invited a guest. So I was wondering, do we have a guest? If so, I wanted to apologize to our guests that we would not be able to conduct the meeting um, today. And I wanted to know if we had a guest this evening with us. Yes. Um, thank you, Ms. Lundy. We do have two attendees. Uh, okay. One by the name of uh, Logan and yes. the other person, Ebrima Niyun. Ni I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing. Yes. Okay. So, yes, so, I invited um, Mr. Um, Logan to come in. So, um, hopefully, uh, during our next meeting, he'll be able to come back on to join us because he's, he's very interested in um, seeing how we um, operate and supporting the PCAT. Yes. And so Mr. Um, Logan and uh, I think it's Ms. Nyan, Ms. Nian, thank you for attending. We do apologize. Um, and as we said, maybe some of our participants, our panelists are still on spring break, um, but um, please catch um, some of our past meetings. And there will also, if you are leaders in the community, there is a mini leadership um, summit that um, our um, engagement department is hosting, our family and engagement department is hosting on April 29th. Mm -hmm. So um, you can see that information. Um, and did anyone else have any other comments, questions? Okay, um, Miss, I don't know who went up first, but I'll just- Miss Adam, Adam Stafford. Stafford. Okay. Yes. Thank you. I was uh, also going to say, I believe that this group can call a special meeting. That's what I was going to ask. <laughs> yes, yeah. I believe you can. Um, if a certain amount of members, based on the, the total amount of the committee, uh, send an email requesting for a special meeting, I believe we can do that. Um, so we still have some time left in this month. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to just uh, get another meeting on the books because I do think we're making some great progress. I want to hear what other folks are doing. I've been, you know, hearing bits and pieces, but I'm sure we'd all like to share um, and uh, talk about some of the future plans that we have uh, going forward next year. So hoping we can do something else this month. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so I, I would also, I mean, I know we can't vote on it, <laughs> but I will, um, ask that you all look at your calendars and maybe next Wednesday, you know, we can, you know, try to do this again. Um, and then that will also give me time to have the financials that has been requested of me to submit to you all to approve for the, um, the retreat that we had requested a couple of months ago. And um, also as well to ask for apologies to you all because I had to step away for the past four weeks. Now I am back and um, to get the report to you all for, um, well, it will be the report, not the big year report. It will be our report on what we've done as a PCAT and what I 
uh, suggestions are so you all can have that, review it. We can approve it and then submit that to the board um, for review adoption. Um, hopefully they can do that in May. I will have that to you by the end of April so you all can review and then we can vote on and discuss at our May meeting. Um, and I would like to also invite um, in May the um, uh, God, Dr. Strader's um, team out. There's a new parent dashboard um, that was released. And I think that would be a great opportunity for us to have information how we can share with parents um, how to stay connected with data that's coming out as it relates to academically where children are, you know, how the business community, how the civic community, how the faith-based community can support um, how we help parents to close those gaps um, based on that data, um, such as the events that are now happening for the enrichment camps on Saturday um, that my child is actually a part of. So I'm hoping other parents are taking part of it. So um, there are a lot of great things that are happening. We just need to do a call to action and let people know. Um, and I hope that you all also accepted the invitation and can attend um, because um, Dr. Jackson um, and her team are having the mini um, parent leadership summit on the 29th. And we are slated as panelists to um, host a panel discussion. Okay. I will be presenting um, you know, at the workshop but there will be an evening session for us to um, just kind of lead a discussion as parent leaders. And it's a great opportunity for us to collectively show what we're doing and um, what's also happening in our individual districts. So I hope that you signed up for that as well as on the 19th, I think it is, with Ms. Tyler, was my, she yes. Tyler, the 19th. Yes. Yes, yeah, she's sending an invitation to PCAC members yes. uh, about a focus group that they are conducting for parent leaders um, to get their input and their analysis of Transformation 26, which is a strategic plan for the school system. So she was having uh, hosting a special session for PCAC, and then there will be three others organized by um, South County parent leaders, Central County parent leaders, and Northern County parent leaders on three other dates. Yes. And so they are looking forward to the wisdom coming from PCAC for yes. that work. And this is an opportunity for our voices to be heard because I shared the strategic plan with us at the beginning. So in mm -hmm. October, you know, everybody got a copy of the plan. It's in the Google folder. If you cannot access the Google Drive, please let me know because this is our opportunity to say, hey, we see this in a strategic plan, but we don't see how we really fit in as parent partners, right? Or community partners as partners in education. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, that gives them an opportunity to maybe explicitly write it out more about how we work together, but they are gonna ask questions and hopefully you all have looked at the strategic plan because I shared it. And if you haven't, go back to the folder. <laughs> it's there, look at it so we can provide some feedback that could be useful to can change something, hopefully for the better for everyone. So um, I think those are all the announcements. I don't know if Ms. Adam Stafford, you have anything um, but from a district perspective, as well as they sent out a, a, a survey for the search for the CEO, I hope you all have completed that, shared that, um, and if not, go back, complete it, share it, and that's it. That's all I have. Thank you all. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Good night. Thank Good you. Night. We're gonna